Greetings guys. In this video of how to use Zing AI, I'm going to take you guys through how to use the skin retouch function. So let's say I already have an image here where I have certain marks on the face as well as around her neck. I'm going to try and get rid of it using the skin retouch function. We also have tried the face retouch function which specifically works on the face but this one is also going to help us get rid of the blemishes marks and pimples around her neck area as well which uh, the ai considers to be the part of the skin so we are going to see the marks everywhere where we have around here all over her face as well as around her neck and then i'm going to quickly run the skin retouch as i had selected from the option bar here um, you're very well able to see the skin retouch function. This takes around 10 to 20 seconds. It identifies everything. It's also not a very small image. But then, in a matter of no time, we can also quickly look at the comparative images of how everywhere, if you notice around her neck as well as around her face, we've been able to clean it up superbly well. So this function can, of course, be used... Uh, uh, as a batch process, we can upload images, we can use all of these and then start batch process. Again, the idea is to be able to set the workflow, make the work, make the function part of a workflow or add more functions to create a larger workflow and then run it across to get your desired results. You could do this across multiple uh, resolutions in HD, 4K, 8K. Uh, also for skin retouch is something you could be using a layered output to get more refinement, more specification, preserving certain aspects in detail as well. And then you get very, very clean results where we're able to clean up the skin uh, from all parts, still preserve and make it look natural. That's a little bit about skin retouch, guys. Thank you.